They had no idea about the language of horses till about 12 years ago when I was introduced to it um, by my older sister, who had recently attended a Pat Pirelli course up in Colorado. And I had just gotten some young horses, and even though I knew how to ride, I didn't really know how to develop them. And once I understood that they had a very specific um, language based on their herd dynamics, I became just so interested in wanting to know more, and I just became this sponge, and I started reading and attending clinics and looking for instructors that could help me develop my horses. And what we focus on is a more of a growth and learning and a development course for anybody. So you, you don't have to be an equestrian, you can, you know, just anybody who has a love for horses or a desire to learn more. We take the principles of natural horsemanship and combine that with your basic uh, mindfulness uh, and being present and all that new millennium information of you know just trying to uh, creatively manifest and the law of attraction and um, allowing the allowing of, of opportunities to come into your space and that's a lot of what we do with the horses if you create space for the horse they'll and they'll come and enter and want to be with you well, the four things important to horses are safety because they're herd based, comfort, food, and they're extremely playful. What we do is we practice exercises that allow people to see how that works with the horses. We watch the herd, we watch how they move each other around, and then we try to embody that in our own selves so that we can be more like the leader of the horse, you know, the leader of the herd, which is a lead stallion and, and a lead mare. And the way they establish dominance in the herd is literally just who can move whose feet. So, you know, if I can move his foot over just a little bit in one step that he didn't choose, then I now become the leader of the herd. Now he could move me, and then he becomes the leader. So we, the, in a good relationship, we might share the leadership and, and become very light with each other. In, a, in a, a more difficult relationship, there's one person that's always the leader and being a bit of a tyrant about it. So we try to be really fair and just um, and teach people, you know, how to truly partner from the ground up. Well, they're going to learn who the leaders are in the herd. There's a lead mare and there's a lead stallion. The lead mare suggests the direction of the herd, so they'll, they'll have the focus. And the stallion will drive the herd with pressure. So what people will learn is about the different phases of getting things done. It's, it's experiential learning. The experiential learning is different than reading it in a book. You actually come here, work with a horse, watch how you, just using your body and your energy and your focus you can get this horse to move. Like I'm not really hardly touching him and I'm lightly asking him to move over. A lot of people have difficulty with their horses on the ground because the horses are walking all over them and they, they're fearful. They don't realize that just by creating a little bit of discomfort or a little bit of, you know, energy there, I can get this horse to move off me and I don't have to become scared. So a lot of people don't protect the space around them. There's so much that goes on here, so many subtleties, and because horses are our mirror, they absolutely mirror who we are as people. So everybody's different. So everybody takes home a different piece.